It's the most wonderful time of the year, Champions League, UCL, and the only reason I'm not depressed at this time of the year is because Arsenal are back in the Champions League. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Now the Champions League is back. High five. With the Champions League being back, you're probably being flooded with a lot of previews of Champions League predictions. Well, I'm not about that life. I don't predict anything. I don't even like predicting the weather. I like to know exactly what the weather is when I step out. I don't predict anything in life. Instead, let's talk about the young, promising boys. Chinese boy, how old are you? 18. That are playing their first ever matches in the Champions League this season. The ones to look out for, the star boys. Because we all know, when we watch football games, we don't just watch for the game. Sometimes we put on a game just because there's that one player that you want to watch. Uh. A lot of players' credit really goes down to how they performed at the highest level in the Champions League, in the final stages, and not really so much the group stages. A lot of the greats, you know, the GOATs, quote unquote, have amazing careers, and one of the things that they have on their resume is a UCL trophy. Okay, um, enough of the talking. Because Arsenal are playing in the Champions League this evening. I'm not getting this video out quick, man. Yeah, it's guys talking for too long. I'm going to speedrun this. Uh, try and get this video out before today. Now, Xavi Simmons has been a name that has been planted into the industry of footballers. He was at the La Masia, went to PSG, and now he's at Leipzig. He has been given that free roaming role at RB Leipzig and is absolutely playing out of his socks. He has got three goals and four assists in three matches. <laughs> three goals. Wait, wait, let me just double check in the notes. Let me double check my notes. But no, four matches. Four matches. Three goals and four assists in four matches is crazy. And if he continues this into the Champions League, it is looking like he is going to be one of the most upcoming, you know, rising midfielders in the world. Boom. Yeah. And again. <laughs> <laughs> this guy yesterday pulled out. 3 1. And he was the main man. Got the man of match. Bro, I made this video four days ago. Recorded. Just... Now, Rasmus Hoyland. Yeah. Not Haaland, Hoyland, the big man, the man up top for Man United. There is a lot of pressure on this guy. I think he is one of the ones to look out for when it comes to this Champions League campaign. I feel like if there's anyone that's going to push Man United over the line, it's him linking up with the likes of Bruno Fernandes. You just feed Hoyland and he's going to have chances. And eventually they're going to be tucked away. We said this with Nunes. I know we said this with Nunes. But Rasmus Hoyland is a totally different player to Nunes. If you watched him, even his little cameo against Arsenal, the other day when he came on, just his pure strength, backing off into the man, but also being able to spin off and run into the box, he is going to get goals. And in this Champions League campaign, he might well get Man United past the group stage. <laughs> uh, yeah, I couldn't... Um praise Man United for too long. Now the penultimate youngster you need to be watching out for in this Champions League campaign is Takefusa Kubo. Now I've been wanting to talk about Kubo for a while just in life. You know I don't have anyone to talk to about Kubo. And I'm not talking about the Bleach anime or mangaka. Yeah the author of Bleach. He's called Kubo as well. That's another goat. But I'm talking about the youngster from Japan who was also in La Masia. On the weekend he played against Real Madrid his former team and smoked them. But he absolutely dictated the play. Like he was sharing the midfield with the likes of Chuameni, Bellingham, Cruz, and dominating, dominating. His touches impeccable. There was even a moment in the game where he got taken out by Chuameni because of how fast his feet were. He is something else. And I saw him play for Japan against Germany the other day. Pace, pace, precision, and balance. When it comes to this Real Sociedad side, he is the dictator. He's got intelligence and he's young as well. Now in five games, he has three goals and one assist. Another one of these youngsters that has started his campaign so amazingly. And I'm sure if he turns up for this Champions League campaign, Real Sociedad will do well. You know, I don't think they'll go far. I don't think they'll even, they, they might not even make it out of the group stage. But what I do know is that he is going to have a lot of eyes on him and he will get a move somewhere, man. Even the likes of Liverpool have already been linked with him in the summer. But Kubo, he is going to be massive. And lastly, <laughs> um, 
It's time to talk about the star boy, the man that has been carrying my team for maybe two and a half years now. Bakayo Saka is starting <laughs> his Champions League journey. He has proven himself on every stage, the Premier League, in all the cup competitions, Euros, the World Cup, but can he do it at that Champions League level? If he can replicate his performances from the league, <laughs> into Champions League nights, he is going to go from world class to elite. And I'm telling you, because people like to put him down. You know, they like to say he's not on Vinny's level. But in reality, he's looking at Vinny right now. And he's thinking, if I can prove myself in this campaign, if I can get Arsenal to the quarters, to the semi-finals, <laughs> I'm not going to be known as Bakayo Osaka no more. I'm going to be known as Bakayo Dino Sakalino. Now again, Saka is a player that has started off this campaign brilliantly. In five games, he's got two goals and two assists. And I just think it's inevitable. I don't even have to say them stats for you to know that this is going to be crazy. Being in the Champions League for Arsenal is going to be crazy. I'm predicting big things. I think we'll go very far. I think we'll go deep into the composition. Semi-finals, if I'm being honest. Against all odds. And we might lose a couple games in the groups. But I think we'll go there. And we're going to show the world that we're back and Saka is a player, top, top player. Bakayo!